open letter to Lego. Dear Lego, on behalf of clone fans everywhere, we're done with the 501st. You can stop now. I heard that over the summer you're making a quote-unquote battle pack using the 332nd clones, which you may not know this, but they're just a derivative of the 501st. They're a subsection of the 501st. This is gonna be a really cool set. But after this, you can stop now. Three years ago, you gave us this set, and thank you for that. This was a great way to build a little army. It was a little expensive, but you were just in a transition time. We know you were going through a lot. So thank you for these clone troopers. And shortly after, you gave us this thing. This was not the best set in the world. It could have used two of these troopers, but another 501st trooper to go along with the other ones. Thank you for that. And this year, you gave us this set with these amazing little specialty clones. We don't really need that much of them, but we appreciate that you did them anyway. Look how good they are. They're so well done. And I know you don't want us to know this, but we know that Captain Rex is coming in the vendor later this year. But after that new Captain Rex set comes out, and after that new Captain Vaughn set comes out with the 332nd clones, you can stop for a little while. It's okay. It's time to let some other clone legions have their time in the spotlight. The 212 came in an expensive set. Wouldn't it be cool to get a new battle pack for them? I certainly think so. This classic battle pack from 2006. It would be very nice to get a remake of this with the Shock Trooper, the 332nd, and some regular clones. That would be very much appreciated by everybody in the community. Now I know it might be scary to think to do some other clone legions considering the fact that the 501st makes you a lot of money, but as an experiment that you did last year proves, we will buy them. You may not have even known that this set was an experiment, but you made some clones that were really weird. These purple guys aren't even canon. I don't know if you knew that or not, but these guys don't exist in the Star Wars universe. But guess what? This set is selling really well, and it's not even going on sale yet at major retailers. So that's how you know that it's doing pretty good, because people still want to buy it, and people still want to buy these purple clones that aren't even canon. So Lego, hey, guess what? You can do more clone legions. And if this little experiment has proved anything, it's that clone fans will buy clone troopers. Now I know branching off from the 501st can be a little scary because they've done really well for you, but if you want to make one more 501st set, we'll all give you permission. If it's got Rex, Fives, Jesse, and Echo, at least, then no more for a little while. Give these other colors of clone troopers a chance to shine in battle packs. So on behalf of clone fans everywhere like myself, I think we could use a little break from the 501st. I hope this letter finds you well. Thank you very much. From Brian.